Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch him box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think, that it does not matter what his credentials are. He is going to stand with him and prove that he's better. They usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful, educated jab, jabbing high, jabbing low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. And now one more Ladies time for the official introduction. This is Here's Bruce the Bob. main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 16 losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, Jim Miller! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York, All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? Excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be, he knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Miller gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Miller gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. 
Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Close guard. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. Tie now. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up now. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Body shot after body shot. He keeps landing these strikes, really zapping the gas tank. Back and forth we go. <laughs> Caught that kick there. Great punch, landing with so much power. Strike to the body here instead. It's turned away by Miller. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, lands a knee with the head. Taller fighter once again finding the target with relative ease. Nice head kick. Just misses there with the left. Visibly limping here. What a body kick. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. Oh, nice series of knees by him there. He throws those pretty quickly, champ. They're fast, they're quick. He's driving them into the body, into the head. He's really good with it. Straight punch lands. Miller's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Liver kick. Well, he felt like he had to kick effectively to win this fight, and he is certainly doing that right now. Nice combination of kicks. His kickboxing. He's hurt. He's hurt. Well, he has stayed technical, but he is really starting to chew up the opposition now. He came out super aggressive, as aggressive really as we've ever seen him in the UFC, and now starting to uptick the volume again. Nice start here in round one. Looking to land the leg kick now. Big left hand there inside. Twenty seconds to go in round one. That's a nice strike. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Five minutes in the book. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last one. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. 
complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Miller. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, a single collar tie there. Right hand punches the clinch. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Ooh, nice liver shot. Nice. Oh, and Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Back and forth we go. He lands a switch knee. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you, what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you got to be getting out of those positions where he's kneeing. You got to be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect the body. You got to just really treat Look like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Dig and kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Oh, nice straight left there. Miller's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Left hook, right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. All right, single collar tie now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Double leg. Miller gets the takedown. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, has the guard closed here. Both fighters get up now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds.
right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. defense and forge right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliana has called a stop to this contest at 37 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout, Iron! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly